Hi, welcome to Z Gadget Review, where at the moment you can get all Cyberpunk 2077 news. Soon it'll stop, I promise. So Cyberpunk 2077 is, as we all know, in trouble. Now, if you've been living under a rock or you have no clue what Cyberpunk 2077 is, let me do a quick rundown. Cyberpunk 2077 is an RPG game that's been in development for almost 10 years. That's right, it was a highly anticipated game. It was supposed to be an open world game that was supposed to revolutionize what open world games could do. None of that became true and the game is in a completely broken state. Not only on the PS4 and the Xbox One, which are the most affected consoles, but completely across the board. There isn't a platform that is safe from the cyberpunk bugs. And this is what happens. CD Projekt Red, publisher for Cyberpunk 2077, has been apologizing for the horrible way they decided to release this game. But there are some people who... are smelling blood in the water. And that is lawyers. Lawyers are smelling blood in the water and they're smelling lawsuit, which means lots of money. And there are two law firms that are gearing up to most likely do a class action lawsuit against City Project Red. This is from Video Games Chronicle, otherwise known as VGC. As reported by the New York Times, one Warsaw-based law firm and City Project investor has announced it's analyzing grounds for legal action on the basis of misrepresentation in order to obtain financial benefits. Misrepresentation refers to saying that the game is in one state and then the reality being another. Kind of like when your friends tell you that Beyond Burger is real meat and then you find out that it's not real meat. It's vegetarian meat. If there's such a thing. It said its investigation was related to recent events and particularly Cyberpunk's removal from the PlayStation Store, which saw CD Projekt's share price fall by 15% on December 18th. That was horrible. If you want to learn more about that, you can look at the video here. A second New York-based law firm has also announced an investigation into the Cyberpunk developer. Wolf Hal Haldenstein Adler Freeman and Hers LLP. That's a long name said on Friday it was looking into potential securities claims on behalf of shareholders of CD Projekt, resulting from allegations that CD Projekt may have issued materially misleading information to their shareholders and investing public. According to SEC Rule 10b-5, it's unlawful for any reason directly or indirectly to engage in any act, practice, or course of business which operates as a fraud or deceit upon any person in connection with the purchase or sale of any security. So technically that last part because CD Projekt is a publicly traded company, they are not allowed to lie to their consumer base and their investors. In this case, because the game shipped in the way that it shipped and there are statements from them in the past saying that the game was running well and in good conditions and it looked amazing on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, then that technically becomes a misleading statement because you are saying something that clearly isn't true. So here we are, what, uh, a week pretty much from uh, when the game released or a little bit over a week from the game released and they are here in a place where they could get sued and lose a lot of money and 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 get fines if the sec finds that they did you know gave misleading information to their shareholders and all that this hopefully is a lesson to other developers and to other publishers that shows that you cannot with consumers the way the CD Projekt Red did by lying about what their game looked like. And there are tons of statements that are clear, blatant lies. And you can see a video on that here. And for other publishers to see that their lies, their misleading of cost consumers, because it's, that's literally what they're doing. When you, when you ship a game and you say that, has certain features or it's going to do certain things and you ship the game and doesn't have 
any of those things so it doesn't live up to what you are promoting and trying to sell technically that's false advertisement technically you are lying to people in order to go buy your product and if CD project is made an example in this case because of cyberpunk 2077 then hopefully other developers see this and go like hold on we need to change our business practices because at the end of the day, this can cost us a lot more money for shipping a broken game than if we hold on, get it to a good place and then ship it. Because that's all CD Projekt Red needed to do. If they held on for another three months, they could have had a juggernaut of a game in their hands, a game that would have sold forever from now to the end of time. A game that people would have talked about forever. A game that would have, you know, given sequels. I'm sure they're probably going to try to make another sequel. Uh, I mean, another game based on Cyberpunk 2077. I mean, it's going to be hard to pull it off. But hey, more surprising things have happened. So, you know, never say never. But, you know, this game would have been the game that was supposed to be. Just think about how much they sold before the game came out. This game was profitable before it came out. This game had recoup its marketing money and its development money just on digital sales. Think how crazy that is. Hopefully the industry pays attention and treat our customers the right way because we are the ones who buy these games. We are the ones who get screwed over. We are the ones who at the end of the day We'll stop buying your products if they don't live up to what you promise. And, and, and gamers, you know, get burnt all the time. It's, it's a common practice of, hey, I'm going to sell you this. And it is a trust relationship. Gaming is always being a trust relationship with a developer, a trust relationship with the publisher. You're trusting that what this company is telling you is true. You're trusting that what this company is going to offer you is true because most games you cannot go and test drive you know most games you cannot go and play and you know kind of see how good the game might be or might not be you go base these people's work and so it's important that these companies stop lying it's important that these companies keep their word and that they're open about issues in development that they're open about the problems that the game might have so you as a player can make a decision on, hey, I understand that they might have some issues. They said they're going to patch this game in two months from release date. At least I know, right? At least I am putting my money into something that I know is risky, that I know might be broken. And I am taking that responsibility. I am taking that risk. Very different from being uninformed and believing on what you're telling us and then you screwing us over. What do you think? Do you believe that CD Projekt Red will get a class action lawsuit against them? And how do you think this is going to impact the industry? Let me know in the comment section. That's it for me. Go ahead and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Go ahead and hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we have new videos. And thank you very much for watching.